Still trusting your mom, Pai. Let's bow down and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we bless you. We give you praise. We give you glory. We thank you for another week. Thank you for another day. And thank you for another time and opportunity before your presence. Father, your word is coming. We pray, as your word says, that it will not come in vain, but come to fulfill a purpose. Let every purpose for which your word is coming forth be fulfilled in the name of Jesus. Come and minister to us, speak to us, talk to us. Teach us, direct us, rebook us through your word. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Once again, I bring you greetings. God the Father, God the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ. Everywhere that you are listening to us is our prayer. And that the Lord will bless you. Let this year be your year. Prayer that the Holy Spirit will go before you. The Bible says, For a great door has been opened unto me. Bue open kasiye amaye. Nezu mwa kwenzi for doso. And so every door of opportunity that has been opened unto you, it is our prayer that the Spirit of God, you be empowered by the Spirit of God to destroy and break the arm of the wicked. May that every door be open unto you. May you walk in favor. Walk in the favor of God. And the grace of God also fulfill everything for you in the name of Jesus. Just speak to your heart. Speak to your spirit. That it shall be well with you. Shall be well so long as Jesus Christ said it is finished on the cross. Whether the devil like it or not, this life you will win. You win this life. So long as the Spirit of God has been given freely unto you, you'll be empowered and you will take whatever belongs to you in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, Once have we heard and twice that all power belongs to our Christ. Every power belongs to God. To me, you know, you're ready, dear. And so you and your mother, being quiet, dear. Say a radia frost or bay, dear. Mammy, dear me, Papa, dear. Kurim, dear, or dear, what? The summer sang a song. The power is the arms of the strength of God. Power, every power belongs to Christ. Today, I want to talk about the mantle of power. Power, the mantle of power. The mantle of power. And why you need this power. When we talk of power. I talk about the Holy Spirit. The Spirit of God. And why you need the Holy Spirit. For us to know the reason why we need the Holy Spirit in, in our generation and in this time. Amen. Let me ask you a question. Are you a Christian? You say, yes, I am. The second question. Can you be honest to yourself? Let me tell you what I am. You say, can you be honest to yourself? Sometimes you have to ask yourself some question. The third one, are you sure when Jesus is coming right now? If Jesus is coming, if the world happened to come to an end today, you'll be part of the rapture. Or you are giving yourself a second opportunity. My brother, my sister, listen to me, whether you believe or not. Whether somebody 
saying it or not, the word of God says, Jesus said, I am coming and I have my reward. I am coming and I have my reward. I am coming and I have my reward. What if I would tell me, when you might be in the door, Jesus is coming, whether you like it or not. Every day I continue to tell you the world, the things, the signs in the world shows the coming of the Lord Jesus. A thread, Jesus Christ from my head. Pay for Bubi, I'm going to say, oh, hey, you're going to pay and kill us. And you're going to pay for Minimum say we in yourself for me new attempt. But as some day come, when Pi Bonnie Sabama Okwai, allow yourself for the Spirit of God to speak to you. Look at the world and the things that are happening and let it speak to your spirit. Money in Cassandra Christonia would hear me. Many of our many a How sad it is when we see people of faith, people sitting down. Relax in same time <laughs> that one has to be vigilant and work towards their own salvation. Many people are sitting down like they have forgotten themselves that the world is getting to an end. Everything shows. What is in your mind? You let the dance here say, Yes, Christ, so my and I pain. Near when you let the dance have you been to Jesus for the cleansing power? And are you washed in the blood of the lamp? Are your garments spotless? Are they white as snow? Are you washed in the blood of the lamb? Oh, have you been to Jesus for the cleansing power? And are you washed? In the blood of the Lamb, oh, your garments spotless are they white as snow? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Oh, are your garments spotless are they white as snow? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you have you been washed or redeemed by the blood of the Lamb? The Bible says, Blessed is he who will die in the Lord, and they will rest from their labor, and their works will follow them. Remember, the Bible says it is appointed unto man once to die, and after death there is judgment. And brother, my sister, whether you like it or not, you believe it or you don't believe it, your religion believe it or not. One day we will stand before the judgment seat of Christ and we'll give accounts. We are the Bible say papa We will give accounts. You remember <laughs> the Bible says in Revelation chapter 3 and the verse 15 that the lukewarm, the lukewarm, he will spit them. And so there is no in between. Whether you be, be faithful or truthful and go to heaven or whether you walk in your own ways and go to hell. It's two ways. It is two ways. But your works, your labor will determine where you go. Let the, those who have the spirit of God hear the word of God. And prepare ourselves to meet the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's prepare ourselves. Yes, yes, yes. Remember, the angel of the Lord told them when Jesus, the day that Jesus was raptured, and as they were staring towards the heaven, the angel said, As you see him being raptured, going to heaven, the same way he will come. Every eye will see him. The Bible says, In a moment, the trinket of our eye, the trumpet will sound. Trumpet is going to be sound. Read 1 Corinthians 15 and verse 52. A trumpet will sound and the dead in Christ will rise and those who are alive. Uh, and so Jesus is coming. And we will, be, we will stand before the judgment seat of Christ. May the Lord help us. May the Lord empower us. May the word of God lead us. 
to do the right thing. Unya me mwa ya ne yenye di etne. Yenye di etne. Yendi no kware me rade. E si yenye da yendi no kware me rade. Me no umi yenu nina. Uhiya. Ena mi hiya. We all need to prepare ourselves. And meet the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you and help you. As we pray. The mantle of power. Why you need power in, in our generation. And when we talk about power for a Christian, what are we talking about? We are talking about being filled with the Holy Ghost. <laughs> the Holy Spirit. Why you need the Holy Spirit? Why you need in our generation? <laughs> we preach about walking with the Lord. The reason why a Christian, you have to walk with the Lord. And people who walk faithfully with the Lord, obey the Lord. When we read the Bible, First Samuel chapter 15, verse 22, the Bible says it's, it's uh, obedience is better than sacrifice. To obey is better than sacrifice. And to obey the word of God, walk with the Lord, and you receive the Holy Spirit. It is important to receive the Holy Spirit. Allow yourself to be filled with the Holy Spirit. When we talk about power, we are talking about the outward manifestation, the manifestation of the Holy Spirit. Power, the reason why you need power. We have three, three <laughs> ways of the ways of the Holy Spirit, three ways the Holy Spirit manifests itself. The first one, the outwards or the visible display of the Holy Spirit. The outwards or the visible display. And we will talk about it. And also we have the inward or the spiritual manifestation of it, the Holy Spirit. And the third one, the future and expected work of the Holy Spirit. The future and the expected work of the Holy Spirit. The reason why you need power. The reason why you need the Holy Spirit. The reason why many many people are losing and many people are wandering. They wonder. They go to places seeking for power. And all the power. It's in the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus said it was expedient for me to go. If I go, I will send the Holy Spirit. And when he comes, he will abide with you forever. The power of the Holy Spirit. The power. The mantle of power. Man, why you need power? Why you need the Spirit of God? Why you need the Holy Ghost in our generation in the end time? Let's go and read the Bible. 1 Corinthians 4 and the verse 20. 1 Corinthians chapter 4. And the verse 20, 1 Corinthians 4, and the verse 20. Let's hear the word of God. He says, For the kingdom of God is not worse. It's not worse. The kingdom of God. The kingdom that you have been called into. The Bible says it is not worse, but in power, in power, 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 power. The Christian that you are listening to me, every word that you are listening to me, all you need, you need the power of God. You need the Holy Spirit. You need it. Because if you don't you don't receive it, you cannot win this battle of life. You cannot win. You cannot win. The Holy Spirit. When you go into the Bible, Bible the Holy Spirit was used in the Old Testament. One of the ways you see it, it was called the hand of the Lord. The hand of the Lord came upon people. The hand of the Lord came upon them. And also the Spirit of God. The Spirit of God. But in the New Testament, it manifests itself as the Holy Spirit. The Holy Ghost. The Holy Spirit. You need it. The reason why you need the power. The reason why you have to be empowered. The reason why you have to allow yourself to be led by the Spirit of God. Remember, the Bible says, they that are led by the Spirit of God, they are the children of God. Romans chapter, let me go and read it. Romans chapter 8. Romans 8. And the verse 14. Hear the word of God. Let's hear the word of God. He said, for as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. As many, as many that are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Talking about power. Talking about how the reason why, if you are looking for something, 2020, 
my brother, my sister, woman, a Christian that you are listening to me, you need the spirit of God here, spirit empowerment. You need it, that is what you need. Let's go and read Acts of the Apostle, chapter 1 and verse 8. Acts of the Apostles, chapter 1 and the verse 8. Hear the word of God. He says, but you shall receive power. You shall receive power. You shall receive power. After the Holy Ghost has come upon you. After the Holy Ghost. This is the word of God. You shall receive power after the Holy Ghost is come upon you. to me. You shall receive power. <laughs> Hallelujah. And they shall be my witnesses unto. He said, uh, and ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem, in all Judea, and in Samaria, and to the utmost part of the world. Utmost part of the world. The mantle of power. You know that why the reason why. These days, many people are running around. I have come to understand, and it's true. Every human being, you are the triumph being. You are the body, the spirit, and the soul. The body, the spirit, and the soul. Hallelujah. The body will, will, the body will, 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 will stay on this earth. When your spirit leaves from you, you are dead. But your soul, your soul will stand before the judgment seat of Christ. And the reason why you need to allow yourself to receive power from the Holy Ghost is that the Bible said, though we walk in the flesh, we walk in the flesh, but we do not want to wrestle against the flesh. Remember that. That we do not want to wrestle. Ephesians. Let's read Ephesians, the reason why you need power. The idea we hear to me says, No. My prayer is that somebody will allow himself. That is the only thing that you have to fight. There are many people, they are walking around, shaking everything, everywhere. I heard a story about somebody that was saying, that if you go and they are selling power, you can sell your mother, sell everything and go and buy that power. But after you get that power, you come back and rescue them. Come back and rescue them. Because power is very important. The Bible says the kingdom of God is not worse. It's not worse, but of power. The mantle of power. The reason why you need the power of the Holy Ghost. The reason why you need the power. Ephesians 6. And the verse 12, let's hear the word of God. He said, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. In high places. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. When we say, Many of them, many of them, the idea we hear to me in the and so so you can take your bows and you can take your guns, walk to the person and fight the person. But the sad aspect is that they are spirits, they are spirits. And this is the reason why many people don't believe. The reason why many people don't believe is that all they see is the physical world. They see the physical world. They don't see the spiritual world. And so many people don't believe. And even the devil himself who don't, don't want people who don't have any spiritual eye to, to know that there, there is a demon. There is another world behind this world. The, the devil don't want them to see. But let me tell you. There is a saying in our language. That if you don't know death. Look at sleeping. How you sleep. When you sleep, you see in your dreams, you see the things that go on, goes on. My brother, my sister, something should tell you that there is another world. There is another world. And that world, you cannot fight with your hand. You cannot fight with the flesh. That is why the Bible said, they that are in the flesh, they cannot please the Lord. They that are in the flesh, you cannot use the flesh. 
I am talking about the mantle of power and why you need this power. Why you need the power in the Holy Ghost. 2020. Make it a year of waiting before the Lord through prayer and fasting. Reading the word of God. Empower yourself with the word of God. Hallelujah. The Bible says we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, a spiritual wickedness in high places. And so how can a flesh fight with a, a something that is a spirit? How can the flesh fight with something that it cannot see? You cannot see. Neither can you handle with your physical. Pray that somebody will understand. That is why the Bible says we shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon us. After the Holy Ghost has come upon us. I pray that somebody will read the Old Testament and know how the hand of the Lord or the Spirit of God came upon them. And when before the Spirit of God came of them, uh, upon them, and after the Spirit of God or the hand of the God came upon them, the difference, the f- difference, the victories they won, the thing they did, near my one year here, they did. When the Spirit of God came upon them, I pray that you will be filled with the Holy Ghost. Pray that you be filled with the Holy Ghost. The, the Bible is talking about, when the Bible talks about power, power, the Bible is talking about <laughs> dunamice. It says in the Greek word, the Greek word is dunamice, from which we get the word dynamite. Dynamite, 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 power. It's a Greek word. It said dunamice. That comes from the Greek word. And let's talk about dynamite. Some of us, we work within the uh, mining field and we know that within the mining field, they have an explosive. They have explosive that they use within the mining field that they call it dynamite. And what does the dynamite do? Dynamite. And then here, when you go to the mining field, those who work at the mining field, they have an explosive. I will cook for the dynamite. What does the dynamite do? When they put it in the rock, it shatters the rock. It breaks the rock. They cannot break it. And so this dynamite breaks the rock, breaks the rock. It breaks the rock and, and, and scatter everything for them to be able to take the, the rock. And that is what the Bible is saying. My brother, my sister, my brother, my sister, my brother, 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 my You need the Spirit of God. You need the power of God. You need the Spirit of God. I always tell everybody, me, when you are praying for me, don't pray that I will get money. Don't pray for me. Pray that I will be able to worship God and worship Him. Be obedient to God. I want to follow God. I want to do the right thing before God. I want to serve Him. Because because <laughs> if your fire, the fire of God upon your life is burning, nobody, no spirit, no demon can even get closer to you. Nobody. The secret in life is to, to walk faithfully. To be, <laughs> be faithful before God. Do the right thing. As a Christian, live right. Live right. When you live right, you don't need to hop from one man of God to another man of God. You don't need to hop from one church to another church. You don't need to hop from one gathering to another gathering. You don't need to go to a places where they will lie through prophecies over your head. It's not every hand has to be laid on you. And yen sabiara was a uma hoka granade tofu. Nen sabiara. That's another aspect. Because then they tell you, they call the Bible, oh, Jesus Christ washed the feet of the disciples. They are washing your feet. They are washing your, your, everything away from you. They are washing everything. They are washing everything. They will wash it away. They will wash every glory. And the rest of your life, you walk in pain. You walk in pain. <laughs> in our generation, we don't want to hear the true word of God. We don't want, want we are not ready to live right, live a righteous life, and wait before God pray. The Bible says, well, well, when you go enter your closet, you have to be alone. Being alone, serving alone alone. And do it. It is possible. It is possible. Learn how to pray. Learn how to wait on God. Pray for the, the power of the Holy Ghost. 
you win this life. Obe din kunim, abra boy obe din kunim. So chain ya me anim na usen omo ya me hunku kuti ukanya. Me ni abra me ni abra ma. You will win this life. People think that when 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 you have billions of dollars, that that means that you are successful. People think that when 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 you you are famous, that's you are successful. Who told you? Having life, having life is enough. Having life, and when when you are no, no nobody, you own nobody, and the spirit of God, you have life, my brother, my sister. It is enough. The power, the power of the Holy Ghost. The reason why you need the power of God. The reason why you need the Spirit of God. This year, that make that your prayer. That Lord, I want to walk in you. I want to be filled with the power of the Holy. You need the Holy Ghost. You need the Holy Ghost. You need the Spirit of God to win this life. Because remember, I will, the Bible says we walk in the flesh. Though we walk in the flesh, our, our weapons they are not carnal. The weapons that God has given to us, the Holy Spirit is not carnal. It's not human being. It's not human being. It's not human being. And so, say that our weapons are, are, are not carnal. They are mighty through God to the pulling down of every stronghold. Demonic strongholds. Demonic strongholds. Strongholds. You need it. You cannot break it. The saddest part is that if you if you yourself don't seek it, you run to a place whereby that person don't have the right spirit. They don't have the right spirit. They don't have the right spirit. We are not here to preach against it, but it is so sad that you see people who don't have the right spirit, and many people are running after them, destroying many lives and destroying many destinies. Destroy many lives and destroy many destinies. Destroy many lives and destroy many destinies. The Bible says, by their fruit, you know them. Yes, still you have seen their fruit, but you cannot run away from them. Because they themselves, you know the reason why many people are, are, have joined many societies and many occult groups. And they will tell you, oh, it's, it's not of the devil. It's, it's not of the devil, my brother, my sister. Listen to me. Christian, you would hear me, hear me. Any society <laughs> that, that is not of Christ is of the devil. It's of the devil. They will tell you they don't do anything. And pastors are, are, are running into them. Seeking for power. Because they know that they don't want to wait before God. They don't want to do the right thing before God. And so you you yourself, you find yourself under the, the, their, their ministry. And the rest of your life, you walk in pain. You walk in struggle. You walk in regret. You walk in regret. There's some people when they hear it, they got they get angry. They get angry. People are tearing, that is why the Bible says in First Peter that we we are like the grass of the field. Tomorrow, today you you bright. The next day you are no more. You are no more. And today, that the one when I pay your wabeti, pay your wabeti. Can you me a sema na uwa fuye? Udi ema bu fuye. Ubeti me a sema. Ubeti me a yadi awe. And chawa ba uta uwa sa fresh. Eme bom pa yema. Ukrain na me kachira. Manya mindi wani mkain. Manya mindi wani kai. You need the spirit of God. You need the Holy Ghost power. Who here? If you embrace. Yeah, Isaiah chapter 55 and the verse 12. Isaiah 55 and the verse 12. Let's go to Isaiah 55 and the verse 12. And we see something in Isaiah 55 and the verse 12. There is power, power, wonder, working power in the blood, the blood of a lamb. Oh, there is power, oh, power. I want that working power in the prayer. A sure blood, a blood of the Lamb. To me, be waho or for a young one, one juma. Wogama, Wogama, Mojamu. To me, be he waho a young one, one juma. Wogama, Moja. There is power in the blood. There is power in the Holy Spirit. Three three things I believe. 
And I thank God that our ministry is based on what is the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I believe the Bible says, for he was given a name that was above every name. I believe in the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood of the Lord. The Bible says they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. And the third thing is the Holy Ghost. The power in the Holy Spirit. Remember John said, I baptize you with water unto repentance. But he who is coming after me, he is mightier. He is mightier. Even his shoes, I am not worthy to own this. But he will baptize you with Holy Ghost and fire. Holy Ghost and fire. My brother, my sister, be vigilant and be watchful. Be vigilant and be watchful. The Bible says our adversary, the devil, is roaming like a lion. Is in the puppet now. They are in the puppet now. They are in the pulpit now. Some of them they started very well, but they are in the pulpit. They look, they look very gentle. <laughs> they, they look very godly, but within them they are lions, they are scorpions, they are serpent, working for the devil. Have time before God. Wait before God. Allow the Spirit of God to lead you. The Bible says, <laughs> as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the children of God. Don't forget that Jesus, when Jesus met the woman at the well. And the woman at the well, read John chapter 4. Jesus said, a time is coming, and now is the time. An hour is coming, and now is the hour. That the true worshippers, they will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. You know, the spirit, the spirit is the Holy Ghost, and the truth is the Lord Jesus Christ. Remember, Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. When you read John chapter 17, the Bible says, the Lord came through Moses, but truth and grace came through the Lord Jesus Christ. It came through the Lord Jesus Christ. If you have forgotten, when John saw Jesus come, he says, this is the lamp of God that take away the sin of the world. It's only Jesus Christ. It is only Jesus Christ. I was, I was preaching, I was telling them. When I was growing, when you go to Presbyterian church, when you go to Assemblies of God, you don't see this anointing oil, anointing oil. Nowadays, when you go to everywhere, they, uh, it's everything. The lie of the devil. The lie of the devil. The power has left, uh, 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 has left the Holy Spirit and now it's in the bottle. Now it's the power is in the bottle. Bible is to me. 
Men give the gang and antenna and crofo to Hong Kong to be the new and your soft will be and some and your soft will be and some and you prophet be and some and me and me and me and some and one radio home. Remember, Jesus said that it is expedient for me to go. If I go, the comforter will not come. When he come, he will teach you and he will lead you and he will take everything of mine and, and give it to you. The power of the Holy Ghost, the Spirit of God. You don't want to hear it. You sit down. I pray that you understand it. You don't want to hear what you need the end time. You need the Holy Spirit. You need the Spirit of God. Read from Genesis. Read that. Why people are walking and roaming about. Everybody needs a spirit. Everybody needs a spirit to help him. <laughs> so somebody will call you. And this is that. that uh, call me. I can multiply your money for you because the thing that they, uh, and people are running and they, they fall into different kinds of tra tra traps, uh, traps and, uh, and problems. You go, you go and the throne worship God. Men, 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 our prayer. Somebody, well, when you say that somebody was just <laughs> laugh within him or her and think that what is this guy saying? We are not mad. We are the wise people. We know what we, we are, what we are after. We know we are we, we we are not crazy. Don't think we don't know what we are after. We know. We know. We are every Every day I tell you, you say that. Go to different countries. Go to different nations. You go to the Muslim nations. Everywhere, every country you go, you you hear, go to the YouTube people who have seen the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ, who have encountered the Lord Jesus Christ. Yesterday you sit down and say it's not true. Every language, every language. I saw the Lord. Recently I saw it, three years, three years. Woke up from the sleep and told the mother that Jesus Christ, he met Jesus Christ with the brother. And yes, still a grown-up man and woman sitting down and argue because you, you, you said that you have been educated, because that you have been to school. And even the sad aspect of it, those that were that, that theories have died and gone. Yes, still you read it and believe. Shame on you. The Bible, that is why the Bible said the world and everything is passing away. But they that do the will of God, they abide forever. They abide forever. Power. They do the most power to break. The Bible says that you go out. You go out with joy and be led in peace. That means that there are some people walking on this earth. When they, they go out, when they go out, when they go out and they come forth with sadness, there are many people walking in sadness. He said, this for, when you read it, the Bible was saying that, seek the Lord where you be found. And it came that for, my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither my ways are your ways. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways, so are my ways, so are my ways. That was what the Lord is saying. And then he, he, the quantities are, for as the rain cometh down and snow from heaven and return not hither, but waters the earth and makes and bring forth and bath. That it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. So shall my word be, be that go forth out of my mouth. And it shall not return unto me void. But it shall accomplish that which I please. And it shall prosper in the things whatsoever I send for. That was the word of God. That is the word of God. That the, the, the Lord was saying that the, the word that comes out shall prosper in everything that the Lord says. In everything that the Lord says. Yes, so somebody sits in the church and continue to argue. Continue to argue. I pray that you encounter the Holy Ghost. I pray that you encounter the Lord. I pray that the conviction of the Holy Ghost will fall upon you. When you begin to change your ways. Whether you like it or not, whether you believe it or not, whether your religion believe it or not, Jesus is coming. The world will come to an end. I every day tell you. Two things that nobody can change. Two things. Without their theories, without their wisdom, have they been able to change growth? <laughs> Whether you like it or not, you grow. And die and go. <laughs> the other thing that nobody can change, that you cannot change. Nobody can change 
<laughs> How the, the, the day and night, nobody had power and authority to, to change everything. It was created by this God. Somebody who created. He created. Nobody can even stop the wind, stop the, uh, the, uh, anything, the, the sun. Nobody have power. Nobody. And so the little minute power that you have, you, you continue to challenge the word of God and say, there is no God, there is no God. You see how fresh a human beings are. Continue to sit down, and I don't believe. If you don't believe, your your disbelieving does not 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 mean that Jesus is not coming. He will come, whether you like it or not. Sit down, worship God. Sit in your home. Sit in your home. Sit home. <laughs> Listen. Don't go to a place where, where they will not tell you the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Don't go to a place, church where they would not tell you about living in righteousness. Because the, the same, pastor is doing the same thing. I pray. I pray for you. I pray the spirit of God. I pray the spirit of God in this end time. That is why Jesus said that, that the Holy Ghost, we are in the era of the Holy Ghost. We are in the era of the Holy Spirit. We are in the era. Jesus said, so my words shall come forth and fulfill a purpose. And say that for you shall go out with joy. And he continued to say, the mountain shall break forth before you in singing. And the trees of the field shall clap their hands. The trees of the field will clap their hands. How can the trees clap their hands? How can the trees clap their hands? And the mountain will be singing. My brother, my sister, it's a metaphor. He's telling you problems and everything. Before they can, until you have the power, until the word of God has saturated you and turned you and given you the authority and power over the spiritual world. Over the spiritual world. Over the spiritual world. My prayer for you. There are many people that goes out. The girls have trouble. There are many people that we see. There are a lot of human beings that we see. They are not human beings. The kind of spirit they have. They want now four billion. A crown of money. You be on man. Come on, who met you on man? Come on, who am I? Come be Johnny. Who are you making it up? Who am I be Johnny? Who am I be Johnny? I remember. I went to a store. I went to a store. I was going to buy something. And a lady immediately I parked my car. A lady drove by and parked on the gas station. In America, we call it gas station. Ghana and French petrol station. So immediately I park, I park my, my, my car. She parked on the other side. She, she, I got down, I was going to buy something. She got down, very beautiful, very, very beautiful, very beautiful. Every man will like this woman. Then the Spirit of God told me, I want to show you something, how this world is. All of a sudden, the Lord opened my eyes. I, I, that beautiful woman, the way I saw her, how monster, that how monster the woman is. Me share woman anymore. Yami pia benimu. Me share no. Send you see namu opa. Send you see I have born and who who be on the namu ono. Me me yami share me. I was just standing there. I was just standing there. Immediately she saw that I have seen her in the spiritual realm. She ran and took a cup. I did not cut on one. Don't the American cut on the no journey. Because I start, I was standing there uh, in a maze. Bama Bibi Huna ni Dimrika Ako Ako Dinachi. Think it's when you're bad and one fair, only the Koda one on any that. Two by three one and how near my name about so the rest of your life you will you fight problems, you fight sickness, you fight you fight trouble until you die. You may not understand. Then you begin to blame your wife, you begin to blame your uncle, you begin to blame a mother who is sitting somewhere. Oh dear. Begin to serve God and serve Him faithfully. Begin to love the Lord. Seek Him where you will be found and call upon Him while He is near. There are many people, the Bible says, will go forth and be led forth with peace and joy. And the mountains will begin to sink. And trees will begin to clap their hands. How can this be possible? How can this be possible? He was talking about the word of God. Feel, be, allow yourself for the word of God to fulfill a purpose in your life. And so there are many people that go out and they are led by, by sadness. They go out and come back. Change your destiny. Change your life. Change everything about you by holding on to the garment of Jehovah. 
If the woman with the issue of blood did not determine within her spirit that I will not let him, uh, uh, him go, I, will, I know when I touch him that he will come out of him. Nobody told him he dis she decided by herself. She purposed within herself. She saw what is was in the Lord Jesus Christ. He heard about what Jesus was doing and came to a conclusion that after 12 years of suffering, after 12 years of walking around, after 12 years in pain and in sorrow, let my pain come to an end by taking a decision, by holding the garment of Jehovah. Jesus said, somebody has touched me. Then the disciples said, look at the number of people that have trooped over you. How can we know? But he know himself. Because he's the, he's the Afenomica. Jesus knows that somebody has touched me. He knows the need of the woman. And told the woman, woman, your faith has saved you. When you are a little bit of a quality, when you are a little bit of a sabre, when you are a little bit of a sabre, when you are a little bit of a sabre, when you are a little bit of a sabre, when you are a little bit of a sabre, when you are a little bit of a sabre, when you are a little bit of a sabre, when you are a You need the spirit of God. You need the power of God. You need it. In this time, in this generation, that is what you need. There is no other way. There is no other way. Hallelujah. Let's go and read why. Why? Why do you need the mantle of power? Why do you need the Holy Ghost? The first thing that Jesus said, that as of the Apostle chapter 1, in the verse 8, he says, <laughs> that, let me go and read it once again as of the apostle chapter 1 and the verse 8 he says that but you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you and you shall be my witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in Judea and in Samaria and unto the utmost part of the earth the reason why my brother my sister the, to be able to witness the reason why many people cannot witness will be one more thing. Get there one thing you may see in an answer. Unkrumkrum sherema. Unkrumkrum sherema. I'm not going to suffer there. I'm in Kenya. I'm in I am preaching to you. I'm telling you the word, the mind of Christ. I'm telling you the mind of Christ. The man said, "Chila wagi le na nanti ono and tell and continue to boast with your church. And I go to there. I belong to this church. This is my church. This is my church. Thank God for your church." But yes, still, it is not a church. If you are forgotten, let me remind you. You are a walking temple. The Bible says that don't you know that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost and the Spirit of God dwells in you. Whoever destroyed the temple, the Lord will destroy. The place that we go is a place of gathering, but our body is a temple of the Holy Ghost. Because yourself. Deceive yourself. Your body is the temple of all. There are some people, they don't want to go. When, when you see them, they go to the temple of God. They don't want to see even alcohol and anything. Because that is a place. That is a holy place. Then they come home. Oh, Remember, the Bible says the reason why you need power in our generation, in our end time, is that to be able to witness. To be able to witness. If, if, if you don't have the spirit of God, your light cannot shine. The reason why many people, their light cannot shine. Let me go and read. One, to be able to witness, to witness Christ to the world. To witness Christ to the world. If you, if you don't witness Christ, Matthew chapter 28. Let me read Matthew chapter 28 and the verse 19. He said, go ye therefore. And teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the, the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded ye. And lo, I am with you always unto the end of our life. That is what the Lord told us. The reason why you need the power and the Holy Ghost is that one, you need it so that you can witness. 
The reason why many people cannot witness, they cannot, people cannot see Christ in them. People cannot see the Lord in them because you don't have the Holy Spirit. You don't have the Holy Spirit. It's mouth talk, mouth worship. The Bible says, in this last days, many will have a form of godliness, but the power, they deny it. They don't have the power. They don't have the power. They don't have the power. <laughs> there are many pastors. <laughs> that, that is why they are running from, from one local society to another society. <laughs> Acquiring power that people would think that the, the hand of God is still upon their life. My brother, my sister, there is no other way but to trust in Jesus. It's only Jesus. It's only Jesus. And the power that He has given us in the end time about the Holy Ghost. Make us a because when he comes to the church, he's more than angel. Because angel, angel, you'll be disappointed very soon to see his or her their wicked ways and run to the Lord. <laughs> the reason why that you'll be able to you'll be able to, to witness, you'll be able to tell people about the love of Christ, the love of Christ. Matthew chapter, Matthew chapter five. Let's go to Matthew five and, and go and read the word of God over there. Matthew five and the and the verse thirteen. He says, "Ye are the salt of the earth, but if a salt loses its savour, wherewith shall it be salt?" It shall therefore it's not good for nothing, but be cast out and be thrown under foot of men. Ye are the light of the world. Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill can never be hidden. Neither do men light their candles and put under a brushel, but on a candlestick, and it gives light unto all that are in the house. Let your light shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Let your light shine. Let your light shine. You need the Spirit of God. You need the Holy Ghost. You need the Holy Ghost. I will go back and talk with you from the beginning. I will talk to you. The three works of the Holy Ghost. The outer the outer works of the Holy Ghost. The inner works of the Holy Ghost. And the future and expected works of the Holy Ghost. I will talk to you about it. That is why Jesus told them not to leave Jerusalem. The reason why Jesus told them, because before, you look at the, the life of the disciples before, they were empowered by the Holy Ghost, and after they received the Holy Ghost, you see a big difference. See a big difference. Yesterday, Christian continued to sit in the church. You continue to sit in the church. You continue to hold the Bible. And sit down. You 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 sit down. There are some people when they hear this, they begin to get angry. Because you go to a fetish spirit, you go to a shrine, and they begin to lie to you. They begin to lie to you. The second thing, the reason, the second reason, why you need the Holy Ghost power is that, that you'll be able to lose yourself from the captivity of the devil. There are many people walking in chains. There are many people walking in captivity. My brother, my sister, there are many people. Somebody will destroy your good things. Somebody will destroy your home. Somebody will destroy your marriage. Somebody will destroy your work. The, you see, I have come to understand the reason why many people say that African, we cannot, we cannot. My brother, let me be honest to you. The reason why. Go, the number of people that goes to church, the number of people that goes to church, go to Ghana. There are more churches in Ghana than, than schools. There are more pastors than even teachers. Everywhere you church. Why is that the country is still go, not going back? Because everybody, most of them, number 98%, they go to church, but they have never changed their life. They have not encountered Christ. They have never encountered Christ. 
<laughs> they have not encountered Christ because the Bible says in, in Corinthians chapter 5 and the verse 7, 2 Corinthians 5 and the verse 17, he said, If anybody be in Christ, he's a new creature. All things are past, but things are new. All things are past. And so nobody encounter Christ and go the, the, the old way. Nobody. But we have a lot of churches, we have a lot of pastors, but people continue to walk in their own ways. Africa. <laughs> Why? It is not the church. It is that people are not ready to accept the word of God. They, they prefer walking in their old ways. They prefer walking in their old ways. They prefer doing their own things. Prefer doing their own things. That is why we have a lot of churches. We have everything. They, we, they have, we have people that pray 24 hours. They pray 24 hours. Give them one second. They, they, they don't have integrity. Pastors don't have integrity. If a pastor has integrity, how can he sell, sell anointing or sell everything and, 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 and give excuses? Give excuses. Give excuses, my brother, my sister. You need the Holy Ghost power to break yourself from the morning. Let's go and read the Bible. It was in Isaiah. But Jesus Christ read it. Luke chapter 4 and the verse 18. Luke 4 and the verse 18. The reason why you need the power of the Holy Ghost. It was Jesus that was saying. He said, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to to heal the broken hearted the broken hearted are some people <laughs> and again to preach deliverance to the captives deliverance to the captives why was Jesus he said the spirit of God the Holy Spirit, Jesus himself the Holy Spirit was upon him he, he who was the son of God who came to save the, life, uh, the world the Holy Spirit was upon him and said the Holy Spirit was, was upon me as a human being you don't, you, don't, you don't want to hear anything about the Holy Spirit you sit down you sit down Continue to sit down and walk in the brightness of your heart and think that the whole world is before you. One day, little, little headache will put you on bed. I was listening to the, the news yesterday. I felt very sad. Very sad. I was told a, a policewoman and the children who came from, I think I, I've forgotten the place, to visit a, a sick dad. Woman, papa, yari no besrano. Na gana gasa pa ina abusiani ina no wongo wu. Abusiani ina ubia wati eni je besrano papa. Now all of a sudden, but yet still you hear these things. You hear these things, and 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 you don't allow the spirit of God to speak to your heart. Because you think, sir, the devil have given you some spirit. You think, sir, you have gone to the shrine. You think, sir, you have seen a man. You think, sir, you you, you have something to guide you, my brother, my sister. All these things will pass away. You need the power of the Holy Ghost. You need the spirit of God. You need the spirit of God. To break yourself <laughs> because you have to deliver. You have there are times you cannot deliver yourself. There are spirits, they will fight you, they will fight you, they will destroy you. And so every demonic captivity, every chain that is holding your life, my brother, my sister, the time has come. All you need is the Holy Spirit. All you need is the Holy Spirit to break yourself free, set your life free. 2020, if you are second, sing the power, sing the power in the Holy Ghost. You shall go to God in it to me. And you'll be a money to a move, and it will be a new movie. I will yes to Christ to move. And you to a beer move. Need to a beer move. Why, oh, yeah, do walk off, walk off, you know, now the assassin. I want to know. Who can say, oh, yeah, travel, 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 because we have lazy Christians. We have lazy Christians who don't know want to wait on the Lord. Remember, remember when you read Isaiah chapter 40. Isaiah chapter 40. Let me go and read Isaiah chapter 40. <laughs> and I read the verse 28 downwards. He says that, <laughs> that had I don't know, that had I not heard that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of earth, faint not. Neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. There is no searching of the understanding of God. There is no searching. Because the things, nobody can understand how the world rotates. Nobody can understand. Nobody. That is why those that argue, they, they argue, they do everything. The Bible says that there's no. He says he gave power to the faint. And to them that have no might, he increased. He gave power. It is God who gives power. It's God who gives authority. He said, even though young, the youth shall faint and be weary. 
and the youth shall, it says, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up wings as eagle. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and they shall not faint. They shall, they that wait on the Lord. The, the people who separate themselves, the people who, who walk with the Lord, the people who are determined not to allow God to lead them, they receive power. The Bible says they will renew their strength. You walk, if you want to walk, if you want to walk and not faint, if you want to run and not be weary, seek Christ, seek Him, and seek the power. Seek the Holy Spirit. It's all about Christ. It's all about Christ. It's all about the Lord Jesus Christ. It's all about the Lord Jesus Christ. You can continue to sit down. You can continue to lie. You can continue to tell people about anything. But my brother, my sister, the truth is one. It's all about the Lord Jesus Christ. It's all about the Lord Jesus Christ. One she you will be better now with Shabras, will be better now with Shabras, will be better now with Brabos, won't trim what day, won't trim what day, won't trim what day, trim what day. Elutia, Nibrania, Hoya, Gana, Nibiara, Okunya, Bemusha, Gunya Honmusha, the Ojana, and all. When they are in opposition, they, are, they know how to criticize. When they are in opposition, they know how to criticize, they know how to talk. But when they have power, forget them. My brother, my sister, it's all about the Lord Jesus Christ. It's all about the Lord Jesus Christ. It's all about the Lord Jesus Christ. The reason why, the second thing, you need to break yourself from the use of the devil, from captivity. It's only the power of God. Let's go and read Isaiah chapter 10 and the verse 27. <laughs> Isaiah chapter 10 and the verse 27. Isaiah chapter 10 and the verse 27. Let me read it and we will end this and we'll continue tomorrow. Isaiah chapter 10. And the verse 27. Isaiah there stand and the verse 20. Hear the word of God. He says that, and it shall come to pass in that day, in that day, that their burden shall be taken away from their shoulders, and the yokes of their necks, and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. It's talking about the presence of God. It's talking about the Holy Ghost. The anointing is the Holy Ghost. So saying that in the last days, people's burdens and their problems will be lifted. People's life will be set free. The yours will be broken. My brother, my sister, the reason why you need the power, you need the presence of God, you need the Holy Ghost, that every demonic yoke, every demonic yoke, every better without, without the Spirit of God, the bad is that the devils, the demons lay upon you, it will destroy you. You sit down and don't seek these things. Some people, somebody don't want to hear. Somebody don't want to hear. All they want to hear is prophesy. I see this boy. I see you lose. I see you lose. Yes, it is good. But let me tell you, you, you continue to sit down. Continue to sit down. Continue to sit down. My prayer is that somebody begin to walk in the faithfulness and the newness of their heart. Sorry, Nanante, Nyamimuna, Dinu, Kwarime, Rade. If you want bad days to be lifted, if you want your problems to be lifted, begin to walk with the Lord. Begin to do the right thing. Begin. Begin to do the right thing. Begin to walk with the Lord. Allow yourself. Allow yourself for the Holy Ghost to, to fill you. Allow yourself for the Holy Spirit to fill you. Power in the Lord. I want us to pray today. And so, if you have not accepted Christ as your personal Savior, if you have not accepted Christ as your personal Savior, the word of God will not come without allowing you to accept Christ as your personal Savior. He said, Pastor, I go to church. Yes, I thank God that you go to church. But my brother, my sister, let me be honest. Be honest to yourself. Do you know Christ? Do Christ know you? And so, because <laughs> at the end of our journey on earth, we will stand before the judgment seat of Christ. Let them give good theories. Let them give things. <laughs> let, let them write it down to prove say, the word of God is not true. That does not change the truth. In the word, he will come. We are there, Baba. Yes, Baba. Yes, Baba. He is coming. The Bible says he has a reward in his hand. 
Many witnesses, many people are testifying. Go to India. There are people who have seen the coming of the Lord Jesus. Go to Jordan. Go to Iraq. Go to uh, go to Iraq. Go to Iran. Come to Africa. Go to Nigeria. Go to uh, Ivory Coast. Come to Egypt. Come. Go to America. Everywhere. You go to everywhere. Go to the Latin American country. Recently, I see, I saw one Brazilian lady. Uh, she was a Catholic, uh, and she was testifying how she saw the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, still. There are some people like you because they are filled with the devil. The devil are leading them and they are leading people astray. They are leading people astray. They are leading people astray. Who the men say, what you Come and accept the Lord as your person. But dear Radidi, found whom I read in an anti Radimu, not such a bravo. I feel my ending yam in anti. Feel in yam in anti, and yet in yamipe. In yet in yamipe. Yet in yamipe, not yet yet in it. Christonia would tell me yet yet in it. Yet yet in it. Nanja <laughs> I always tell you that we are in a line. Nobody knows where he is. Nobody knows where he is. But don't think the world belongs to you. One day you will leave it. And the owner. You give accounts to the owner. Come and accept Christ as your personal savior. Give your life to Christ. Fawa brabo me rati. Such na wagini. Catch na rati say let day. Rati me. Edima brabo ni na mau. I want to. I want to accept you as my Lord and personal savior. Zacchaeus saw the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says Zacchaeus ran and climbed a sycamore tree because that man was short. That shows his desire and how he purpose within his spirit. Hallelujah. And let me I was, when I was saying that I just remembered I went I went to the work the other day and one of one of my uh, uh, workers came to me. A white man came to me and walked to me. He said, Steve, I've been listening to you every day. And I want to I want to I want to accept Christ. I want to go to church. I want to go to church. I want to go to church. I was very happy. I was very happy. And that is why those who are listening to me on the radio are normally bring uh, preaching English. Because those who are watching me on the Facebook, I have a lot of people from all nations, all over. I have a, a, a Nigerian uh, uh, who tells me, Pastor, please preach in English. Because we want to hear. That is why I preach in English. There are a lot of people. He told me, one man from my company, uh, Indian, called me to the office and said, Thank you, Steve. I've been listening to you. I thank you for the, uh, your words. And he asked me to pray for, 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 for him. My brother, my sister, you can choose not to believe. You can choose. Because this end time, many people don't want to hear the word of God. They don't want to hear the true word of God. But whether you like it or not, Jesus is coming. There is no other way. There is no other way. There is no other way. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. It's all about Jesus Christ. I pray that somebody will accept Christ. Give your life to Christ. Give your life to Christ. Give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. Because <laughs> that everything points out to the end that Jesus is coming. Everything. Everything points out that Jesus is coming. You need the power. You need the Holy Ghost power. You don't need any power. All you need is the Holy Spirit. Allow yourself. Because the end is drawing to an ear. And then, in this time, you need it so that you'll be able to witness. The second thing, you need the Holy Spirit so that you can break yourself from every demonic activity, every every burden, every yoke. It's only the Holy Spirit. There are many people, their life are in captivity. They are in chains. I'm telling you. We'll be one man. The oldest in the family. You walk, you have left the shores of your country and you are in a foreign land thinking that they have left you. Who told you? It is still following you everywhere. And, and they will continue to, to pour water on dead bones and tell you, oh, you are going to prosper. You are going to. And the sad aspect of this is that these those are, are prophesying to you. They are, they, they are being blessed. And you are always walking in, in, in that, that poverty and that. You cannot. Why? Because you need the power of the Holy Ghost to break it through. When it abides with you. With you my brother, my sister, you will live the rest of your life happily. If you have not accepted Christ as your personal savior, 
Let me give you the opportunity. After that, we're going to pray. Don't leave the. Continue to listen with the prayer. That is more also important. When you hear the word, you have to pray. You have to pray. You have to pray. Many people pray that they won great victories in the Bible. But you sit down uh, uh, waiting for somebody to come and pray for you. Calling every pastor to come and pray for you. Prophesy for you. How sad it is. What do you have to say? What do you have to say? What do you have to say? What do Don't pray for them. And, and sit down. Sit down. Somebody will destroy you. If you don't know, let me tell you. But be a free no way. I saw for cry. I saw for. I saw for. You do see Don't recently see him. Pastors fighting. If even a pastor is doing something and it's no good, and somebody says they get angry. I saw for a grand person. The young so for. I saw the back also. Fighting ourselves and killing ourselves. Envyness and jealousy. Envyness and jealousy. Everybody is selfish. That is the reason why. And so that is why I encourage you pray. Sing. Christ and seek him well. Seek the Lord and seek the Lord well. Don't rely on anybody. Rely on the Lord Jesus Christ. Rely in the power that is in Christ, the Holy Spirit. The Spirit that lifted Christ from death is the Holy Spirit. And when you do that, you win. The Bible says, and it shall come to pass that their yokes, the burden will be lifted from their shoulder and the yokes will be broken because of the anointing. Because the anointing is the Holy Ghost power, the power that falls upon something. Even I told you, Jesus Christ himself said that the Spirit of God is upon me. Then you sit down, you don't want the Spirit of God. You sit down, you sit down. You sit down, you complain and think and give excuses of your life. My brother, my sister, the devil don't care about your excuses. Your excuses. The devil don't care. He even he's happy when you begin to, to give excuses. Oh my husband, my children, oh my job, my this. Who cares? Make time and wait before God. Make time and pray. Make time and read your Bible. Get closer. Build a relationship with the Lord. And that is more important. I am not saying spend your whole 24 hours sitting down. No, you can. You are the temple of the Holy Ghost. You yourself, you are the temple. And so, and so, if you, if you don't have time to go to the church, sanctify yourself. Do the right thing. Allow the Spirit of God read your Bible and pray as you work. Pray as you work. Pray as you drive. Pray as you walk. Say this after me, Lord Jesus. Today, I then you mention your name. I accept you. As my Lord and personal Savior. Lord, your word says, if anybody be in you, Christ, he's a new creature. All things are past and everything has become new. Pray that your spirit will go before me. Let your spirit guide me. Until you come or call me from this earth. In Jesus' name. Amen. If you say this word, find a church. Find a church. Go to a church where they will preach the word of God to you. Don't follow the masses and go to some places. My brother, my sister, this end time, the kind of spirit that people are using. There are some, some men of God, they don't, you don't have to allow them to even lay their hands on you. How They are demons, they are, they have evil spirits. Recently, a man of God called me, a friend of mine, a friend pastor called me and told me that a man of God called him says that he just met a man of God. Man calling himself apostle from Ghana. He met the man of God, and the man of God told him, "Oh, I have seen that you are struggling, so so uh, I have to come and, and lay my hands on you and wash your feet." And he says, "Listen, if the Lord is leading you to come and pray and lay your hands on me and wash my feet, the Lord will tell me." And so let me go and pray. The man of God got angry. Somebody who is telling somebody another pastor that he want to lay hands. And wash his feet. He just got angry. My brother, my sister, don't allow, don't allow them to lay their hands on you. Your life, the rest of your life. What do you call? What do you call? Yeah, who no more TV? So now they, they are lying. To, they, the scan of spirit. Many of us are why you do much. You, you are doing much. Who who are mukrano? What do you mean? Be one year now, but Some of us, we are careful. We have fallen to some of their hands. Some of them, their hands, and you don't know what we went through. Do they? They are very demon, demonized. Show them a bomb Show them a bomb Go to a place where you hear the word of God, and when you walk to church and you come back, and you are you are living a sinful life, you have a conviction of the Holy Spirit. Go to a church where you hear the word of God, 
you hear the word of God. What to a church that somebody will tell you that Jesus is coming. His time is near. Prepare your heart for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. And not everywhere you're going to move forward. You're going to be great. And now you're going to be this. And it's going to be, I don't know. I don't know where it's coming from. The lies of the devil. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord increase you. Remember Jesus is coming. We are going to pray. You need to pray. The mantle of power. The reason why you need the power in Christ. The reason why you need to empower yourself. I always tell the women. I always want to tell you. Somebody pray for you. Pray for, 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 for somebody. Pray for somebody. I was telling them yesterday on our prayer line that you know the, the reason why I am very prayerful because of my mother. Because of my mother. Me, mommy. I would gratitude me to mommy. So I'm sorry. And this woman, this woman inspires me every day. Anytime. Anytime. The people that then lived around our, our area would know. My mother had no education. This woman had no education. This woman was a, a baker. But believe you me, when people are dying, people have problems, before they go to the hospital, they will pass our house. Because all that woman did was pray. Mami, be pompa yo, dine sato so abe sore. What do you say? O pompa yo, hongro, pentecost niba. Pompa yo, o diyo ti, and say, to me wo Christo mu. That is all she had. That is all my mother had. That is all she had. And so, and so, the Lord was using her. I remember when not what on both fruit when when you go to Tech Junction, US Junction. Let me tell you this and we pray. Not on both fruit with Tech Junction. My mother was selling them. Before this woman will, will take this <laughs> the, the donors, before she will take there, this woman will call us, we hold our hands and pray. Yeah, but I saw phone in our prophets that they, they were prophesying lying. But some of us, as the children, we know the secret uh, to her. Because it was prayer. And that is one thing that inspires us. We we'll never go without prayer. And until we will be one of them, we will be secret. Many of them, many of them. Yeah, you will be one of them. That is why he said, train the children the way they should go. When they grow, they will not leave. We were trained to pray. We were trained to pray. Hold our hands and pray. My mother taught us. My father will come. My papa the opening and say because school, because university. And so when we wake up, when we wake up, <laughs> Hallelujah! My children call me and they were complaining. Oh, Mama wake us in the morning to pray. I say, my, my son, pray. Wake up, five a.m., five thirty. Pray before you go to school. Your mother is, is teaching you something. Many about many about my child money. Teach them how to pray and don't sit down. When you say that, somebody will be angry. You sit down. One day you live to regret. One day you live to regret. My mother taught us. And all of a sudden, when everything began to go go wrong, and Grofoshas and Sofoshas said, It didn't throw. No, Kwasam said, We don't have anybody in America. We don't know anybody. But yes, sir. And the right now, what she saw and see the prayer. Somebody pray for you. Who are you praying for? Why not bomb Payaman? Why not bomb Payaman? Why not bomb Payaman? Odi Aye Kasa. Odi Aye Kasa. Bad time. You come and take at the bunny and our bread, baby. You are the one who teaching your children how to. We ought to be catching the master of Uncle Emperor. Who are you? What do you mean, such a wagon? What do you mean, such a wagon? Not now. Jesus is coming. A brother, somebody will understand. Give your life to Christ. Shall we begin to pray? Your mom, Pai. Begin to thank God. Father, we thank you. We thank you for your word. We thank you. We bless you. We give you glory. Somebody thank the Lord everywhere. Begin to thank God. Bless the name of Jehovah. Bless the name of Jehovah. The Bible says the word of God will not come. <laughs> but it comes to fulfill a purpose. You go, we shall go out with joy. And the mountains and the hills will begin to sing. They will break forth in singing. And the trees of the field will clap their hands. <coughs> The reason why is the power of the Holy Ghost. Hey, mountains represent problems. Mountains represent problems. Trees represent problems. How can the trees begin to clap? How can the mountains begin to sink? Because you receive the power of the Holy Ghost. Because you have been transformed by the word of God. Begin to thank God. Begin to bless the name of the Lord. Shall say, thank God, thank God for the word of God. Father, we thank you, Lord. We bless you. We give you glory. We give you praise. We give you glory. 
Rapakande Brunda Zanderebe, Antakondo Brakande Zanderebe. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody thank the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Everywhere that you are watching us, every country, every nation, begin to bless the Lord. Begin to thank Him. Thank the Lord for the word of God that has come to you in the power, the mantle of power. Why power? Why the Holy Spirit? Why the Holy Spirit? My brother, I should say, why the Holy Spirit? Remember, the Bible says, though we walk in the flesh, we do not wrestle against the flesh, but against principalities, against powers, spiritual wickedness in high places. And so, you cannot fight with this flesh. You cannot win with this flesh. Except, all you need to do is to just stay in the Lord. Allow yourself. That is why the Bible says that finally, my brethren, Finally, when you read Ephesians chapter uh, 6 and the verse, they say, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and his mighty power. You see, dear children of God of war, my one year day when you have one thing and then it's two me more. My one year day, Christoni, 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 meaning my one year day when you have one thing and then it's two me more. What they tell me, we'll be back to the perfume. One three more thing, one three more thing, one three more thing, one cassia, one thing, one thing, one thing. Vintias here to do for your trim word ten, your trim word ten. Share your trim word you. A woman, woman, no. Show sa no sre. Bow fear no, who could know what they are now. Yena, no offer plans. Offer plans. Offer plans. Do the memo pie, then you may have tumble in a palm and cut out. Not trusting. Not you are not the name thing. Why only only on baby? What's why won't you share right there? Chair and a trout, a trout. Who the trout? We are praying. We are praying that the Lord should empower us. Remember the Lord Jesus told them not to leave Jerusalem. He commanded them because he know, he know himself what the power can do. I will talk about the artworks, work of the Holy Spirit. I will talk about it, the, the work of creation. I will talk about the work of creation. I will talk about the, the work of grace. I will talk about the attestation of the Spirit. I will talk about it. And you know, you know the outward work, and I'll talk about the inward work of the Holy Spirit. Remember, John said that greater is he that is in us than the one that is in the world. And I also talk about the future and expected work of the Holy Spirit. Remember, it is the Holy Spirit that will rapture us. It is the Holy Spirit, the work of the Holy Spirit. It is the Holy Spirit that took Jesus Christ. The Bible says, it's the same Spirit that lifted Christ from the world in us. The same Spirit will take in our mortal, it will strengthen our mortal bodies. It's the Holy Spirit. When you are sick and sick, sick about the power, pray, 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 pray to me. Christ to me. Believe you me, this end time, you know, many pastors will not preach these things. Because when they preach, they know when they preach, nobody will come because nobody will hear. But if you know if we can preach to one person, you see, Jesus said, if one person repent, angels rejoice in heaven. A lot of angels rejoice. And so Jesus Christ is after the repentant soul. Not many people. And so, me, I, I am not worried. If one person would listen to me, uh, praise God. I, I went to a church, uh, and I was three people, and I was doing a program. I was very happy, because I know that these are the people that God gave to me to minister to them. What of you vampire? We are praying to vampire. Serenia, me, who program, what did to me, what the Bible says, and it shall come to pass in that, that day that their burdens will be lifted from their shoulders and their yoke will be broken because they are anointing of God, because of the presence of God. Because Remember, Isaiah said it in Isaiah 61. When Isaiah said it, prophesied about the Spirit of God, Jesus Christ went to the temple, took the scroll, and opened it and began to read that the Spirit of God, there are many people there in captive. Captivity. There are, there are many people, they are in demonic prisons and they are in chains. They are spirits. You are praying that God empower me every day. Remember the Bible says we shall receive power when the Holy Ghost has come upon us. Open your mouth and let's pray. We are praying for the power. Do not most power, the Holy Ghost power. Open your mouth and pray. We are praying for the Holy Ghost. Bumpire catch it every day. Bumpire, there are somebody somewhere. You don't want to pray. Oh, you are praying. God give me money. <laughs> give me this, my brother, my sister. Listen, when you receive the Holy Ghost power, every yoke shall be broken. <laughs> 
There are some people remember Jesus said even there are some people there are some people to open them from their prison. There are some people your spirit is in prison. <laughs> where where you are high, where they have hidden your spirit in one of a person in Bush. Yeah, Cassie will be tears. What yet now? What yet now? We are not after your money. We are not after what what you have. We are after that the Lord will deliver you. You will know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. It's all about the Lord Jesus Christ. It's all about the power that is in Christ, the Holy Spirit. Be one open your mouth and pray. Pray that Lord empower me, empower my spirit, empower me with the Holy Ghost. You say we shall receive power. That when the Holy Ghost has come upon us, I pray. Papa de kondo brakande rebe, rapa kandi rebe korodo bria kadaba. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus, Father, we pray for Your Spirit. Empower us, empower us, empower us. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, fire. Rapa kande pronda zande rebe, rakanda daba. Somebody pray for the power of the Holy Ghost. Open your mouth and pray. Pray that the Lord. Lord will fill with his power. Let the Lord fill somebody with the power of the Holy Ghost. Rapa kondo brea karadabade. Rokonda branda zendere be korono brea daba. Upi omam, Lord. Rapa pandere boche karada brea daba. Robonda branda zendere be. Rakande banda rabonda branda zendere be. In the name of Jesus. Let's pray this prayer. Let's pray this prayer. Let's pray that the Lord will render our hearts. Well, you see, it is all about the heart, the heart, your will, the work of the Holy Spirit. We are praying that, Lord, rent my heart today. Grant it. Break, let the Lord break somebody. You see, if you are not broken, the Bible says the Lord is nearer to the contrite spirit. And those who, who the broken hearted, and those who have a contrite spirit, he, uh, he will never forsake. And so you are praying that the Lord should rend your heart. It's all about the heart and your will and your thoughts. That when the Lord read it, when you are being broken, when you are being broken, when, when the, you encounter the Lord, my brother, my sister, nobody will force you. Nobody will force you to go and pray. Nobody will force you to read your Bible. Nobody will force you to wait on the Lord. Automatically, it will come. And so you are praying, God, endow me now with a mantle of fire. Rent my heart, everything, everything that is holding me. Father, rent my heart. Bubu makuma, what is bubu makuma? Bubu makuma. Na for sura hodia, ye wonkun kutu me fa cheme, fa cheme, fa dume. E wo Jesus Christ, the one of for be one on the mumpire, be one we are bumpire srenya me. Se urade bubu ya kuma wate ma ya ntewase, ya ntewase ma se minya ba minya barima. Sa utinya mi ase na onya kuma bubu ha. Minya enya sa u free ha, sorry ba kona so ya, no free ha na u koha. He be bia wo bia utu mi urade. Bible says urade be bia be uno, na so freno. O sege wa he we found it is all about the Lord Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and pray. We are praying in the power of the Holy Ghost. We are praying the Lord. Rend our hearts, break us, break us, and fill us, empower us with the mountain of power, with the Holy Ghost power. Open your mouth and pray. We are praying. Let the glory overshadow your life. Let the glory of God overshadow your life. Let the glory of in the Holy Ghost overshadow your life. Open your mouth and pray. We are praying in the power of the Holy Ghost. Because Rapa Kando Branda Zenderebe, Rakondo the Bonda Branda Sanderebe, Akandibra, Rabonda Father, we pray for our listeners, we pray for our viewers, we pray for people all over the world. The Father, let your Holy Ghost, let your Holy Ghost run your heart, let your Holy Ghost break every hard hand in spirit, every spirit that they want them to hear your word, that would not want them to humble, allow your spirit to lead them. Radi Yamawa, Hongkrongro Yamawa. Ready to hear what my word is. Ready to hear what. Na pupu ya kuma. O unkrukre we ya mrema. Ewo u Yesu Christo dima. Ewo Yesu Christo dima. Ewo Yesu Christo dima. Rapa kan dere bona branda zandere be. Rapa ban dere bona branda zandere bo korodo bria kadaba. Rapa ban dere bo. Rante kondo branda zandere be. We pray that the Spirit of God, the Holy Ghost, let the Lord empower somebody. Let somebody receive the power of the Holy Ghost. 
Onyame mfungrongro mwasu. Onyame mwasu. Onyame mfungrongro mwasu. Onyame mfungrongro mwasu. My brother, that is all you need. You need power. You need heavenly power. Everybody is sick. Everybody is roaming about. They are killing people for power. They are destroying families for power. They are destroying life for power. But the power relies on Jesus Christ. He said, come on to me. Come on to me. Or die in labor. And I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. It's all about Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and pray. Yes, 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 my brother, somebody don't want to hear. Somebody don't want to hear. All they want to hear is a professor. All they want to hear is telling them they have to receive healing. All they want to hear is telling you that you have received a breakthrough. Rakande Brunda Zanderebe. Father, we pray for their salvation. We pray for that you break their heart. Rakonda Pandere Bona Branda Zanderebe. He can't have Branda. Yes, so demo. Yes, so demo. Yes, so demo. Yes, so demo. Rabapunda Rabakono of Riyadaba. Somebody, we are praying. We are praying. Pompaye. And we are in a radio. So Christo Dima. Rapapanda Rabona Branda Zanderebe. Rakonda Rabona Branda Zan. He can't turn the ball. Rapapandereba. Rapapunda Panze Corona Briadaba. Opia Mafe Pray. We are praying. Yep, Pompaye. Pompaye Catrin Rade. We are praying. My brother, my sister, I don't look the bad days over your life. I don't know every demonic captivity that you find yourself in. But you are praying the Lord. The Bible says it shall come to pass that the burdens, our burdens will be lifted and yokes will be broken because of the anointing. You are praying that Father, every demonic yoke over my life, I am breaking it today. Every demonic yoke, let the Holy Ghost open by your day. How be an inconnue be a dama bra bosso? Will be on ma, a busia of Rimundia warrior who may your day, when you are a papa nephew, will be our warfare. Will be a no assembly or the kind. I'm our bra bonina, will be a woman, will buy and I want no offense, no be sano. Will be on ma, will ye dear tea? We want, we are praying. You, we want to pray. We are bumper, yeah. I catch the radi se radi. In konye biara tauso. When yami nyumfrimo. When yami nyumfrimo. Remember, there are some people that that needs the recovery of sight. There are some people that are in prison. They are in prison. There are some people they are prison. Demonic prison. There are some people they are in captivity. They are in chains. Ana no pe yene vye nye nyumre ye we are praying for the deliverance uh, over your life. When you mean Sanu Frim, when you mean New Frim, when you mean Kron Kron Srafi, Obi Hane, the Yare, Yadi Yare, Yawa Brapo, Yadi Yare, Yadi Yare, we are ready with you. Ukuanko. And the all that you are waiting that this sickness will, will kill you, but we are praying healing for you. And when you mean Sarah, when you mean Yare Sansra, when Kron Kron Hon Dien Bausana, the power of the Holy Ghost that is coming upon you is bringing you healing. It's bringing that womb that the doctors say cannot give birth. Let the power of the Holy Ghost begin to come upon you and begin to melt. There is a divine power. It's divine, divine. There is no such enough is understanding when divinely you are being empowered the holy ghost work begin to pray here bumper pray for that power pray for that holy ghost power pray for that strength raconto kondo branda banderiba father we pray we are praying in the name of jesus robanderibu karada priya kandarabo robanderibu na branda zenderebe somebody up here my friend pray we are praying in the name of jesus in the name of jesus robanderibu na brakande Pray, pray, pray for the power, pray for the Holy Ghost power. Pray that the Lord, the hand of the Lord will come upon you. The Spirit of God will be upon you. The Holy Ghost will fill you to break every demonic captivity, every destiny destroyer. Everywhere they have hidden your spirit, they have hidden your destiny. Everywhere, every spirit that is fighting you, let God fight against them that fight against you. David prayed this 
prayer in Psalm 35. The Psalm 35, he said that, plead my cause, O Lord, with them that strive with me. Fight against them that fight against me. Take hold of your shield and buckler and stand up for my help. Draw out your spear and stop the way against the, them that persecute me. Say to my spirit, say to my spirit, say to my spirit, open your mouth and pray that Lord, every spirit every spirit that wants to put my life in captivity I break myself wherever they have hidden your destiny wherever they have hidden your health we pray in the power of the Holy Ghost be empowered by the Holy Ghost let the strength of God, let the power of God come upon you Call the Holy Ghost, call the Holy Ghost to empower your life, to empower your spirit, to empower your destiny, to empower your children, to empower your family. Raconta Branda Zendere Mekoro Baba. Raconda Bande Baba Yekondo Branda. Racondo Rabona Branda Zenderebe. Ante Kondo Bracande Zendere Beka. Rocondo Rabonda Bracataka Yentara Baba. Ropa Pandere Bonda Bracanderebe. Roponda Yentaraba. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Libracanda. Father bring revival in the heart of your people. In the life of your people. We come against every demonic yoke. We come against every demonic burden. We come against every demonic captivity. Raconto bracandereba. Racandeba. Every demonic sickness. Every demonic sickness. Every cancer. So spirit. Every cancer spirit. Every blood pressure. Every diabetes. Every spirit. Every spirit that is fighting your people. We command healing. I pray for every stroke to vanish. I pray for strength. Me pompaya mau. Ewo yena radi Yesu Christo Timo. Everybody whose marriage has been taken away from her or him, I pray for heavenly restoration. I pray that bonda karanda broka tereba. Rakande de bonda branda sanderebe. Rokonto braka yenta. Wo Yesu Christo Timo. Wo Yesu Christo Timo. Wo nyame ma. E pompaya ma. Wo bi piara ya che. Wo ni o nyame free wo. Wo bi piara ya fawa brabo akosi e. Yesu mo janka wo humne ni ma. Ma mi wata wo mbe ye wo. Every shrine, demonic shrine. Every demonic water. The militant fight against your life. Holy Ghost fight against them that the fight against us. Ready he. Yesu mo janka wo ni mo. 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 Rapa pande. Bokoto brakan de zabra kororo briyaraba. Epandara bande pro karara briyaraba. Antoro boda branda. Ikanda ba. Robonda branda zendere me kororo briyaraba. Father in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Robonda branda zendere me. Akondo brakan de riba. Father we want to thank you and bless you. We give you glory. We give you glory. We give you praise. We thank you Lord. We bless your name. In the name of Jesus. Finally, we pray that the Spirit of God who go before you. My brother, my sister, remember the Bible says, as many that are led by the Spirit of God. By the Spirit of God. You need that Spirit. You need that Spirit. If you are seeking anything and searching for anything in these last days, seek and search for the Spirit of God. The secret to life is the Holy Spirit. That is why many people are running around. From one shrine to another shrine, from one altar to another, from one society to another society, from all called groups to another groups. The all they are seeking is power for a spirit. But the true spirit is of Christ, it's of the Lord Jesus Christ. And you have come to Christ, you have come to know the Lord. 
I pray that the Spirit of God will go before you. Open your mouth and let's pray her last prayer. You are praying for the Holy Spirit to go before you. Let the Lord lead you. Let the Holy Ghost go before you. All you need is the Holy Ghost. In this end time, you need the Spirit of God. You hear home, crum, crum. In new care, you hear pray. Let the Holy Ghost go before you. Let God go before you. Remember the Bible says the blessings of our Lord make us rich and it add no sorrow. It is God. So I was listening to one guy, an awkward man, and he says riches are spirit. I always tell you poverty is a spirit. Poverty is a spirit. I tell you, poverty is a spirit struggling. It's a spirit. Everything they are spirits. When, when they, are, they put their hook on you, you can never. All you need. That is why the Bible says your burdens will be lifted and yokes will be broken because of the anointing, because of the Spirit of God. And so when you are being endowed and you are being filled with the Holy Ghost, they cannot come closer to you. They cannot. Somebody asks our, 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 our secret. And I always tell them, it's the Lord Jesus Christ. Some of us, we pray. We pray. I, I walk with a friend for 25 good years not knowing him. he almost destroyed our life killed our life destroy our life my brother my sister there are evil people all around all around but the only thing that can save you you are praying for the spirit of god you are praying for the power of god you are praying like say god empower me empower me in this last days all you need is the holy ghost power all you need is the power of the hover some of us that is all we do we pray and we walk in the power of the holy ghost there is no other way there is no other way but to trust in the lord jesus christ it's all about the lord jesus christ there is no power anywhere there is no power in any bottle there is so don't, don't look at how, how they are and be deceived. Don't look at how they are. Don't look at how they are and be deceived. Recently, every church, everybody is following them. Everybody is following them. And we have left the power that is in Christ. The Bible says that read Romans 11, uh, Romans 8 and the verse 11. Say, if the Spirit, the Spirit, the Spirit that lifted Christ, Christ from dead. The same spirit will quicken us, will strengthen us. Talking about the Holy Spirit. Remember that John said, The greater is he that is in us than the one that is in the world. He's talking about the Holy Spirit. I thank God for the woman that gave birth to me. This woman never go, went to school. And somebody can ask, How can this, how can the bakers, how can the, the baker's children be this? Because this woman prayed. They will cross our house and this woman every morning woman wants a man or bompire sir and we are no bompire and you know bompire I thank God for that womb. Me denya me as mammy mammy. This woman taught us how to pray. And some of us anything that God has brought us this far. No crying me catch up. I remember me 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 papa nya me papa nya me papa nya bury my baby bon sam baby bon sam. Bozam tried as much as possible to destroy us. Walked to my mother now and told my mother, Why are you going in our butu maso? Why are you going in our butu maso? Told my mother before my mother we were all there. Me and me papa ni abema. Told my mother. Everybody who feared her because this woman was prayer. What do you mean, mumpa? You're not trying. Not funny, my John. What we do, America? What we do, Europe? What we do, Asian? Do when you be a senior? When you're Christian, when you're near me, you know. You have been sure I don't come. We meet tomorrow at the same time. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord open the heavens unto you. May the favor of God go before you in Jesus Christ's name. Have a blessed day. God bless you.